What's going on everybody? It's time for this week's Q&A video. And this week's question is this, what makes a good background for livestock photos? Now a background is anything that's behind your animal in the photograph. And a good background is simple, it's low contrast, and it's at least 20 to 40 yards away from whatever the animal is you're picturing. Um, this won't be true necessarily when we're talking about indoor pictures where we have to picture those lambs and goats and pigs inside. Uh, but for anything we want to photograph outside, uh, I think you want to have that background, you know, 20 to 40 yards away from you behind the animals. And that is the key to making those animals stand out in their photographs and really fill up the frame and pop off of the backdrop. When you have these three things, a simple low contrast background that's 20 to 40 yards away from your animal, it's a great way to make the most out of those crop sensor cameras and kit lenses that a lot of folks are getting started with as their first camera that they're using for their farm. And so you can really do a lot to improve your images if you will do a good job of selecting your background and all of the elements that show behind the animal in the pictures. Complex backgrounds distract from the animal, just like this scene I'm standing in right now. I've got trees there and trees here and bushes here. It's a complex background. If I have to edit this background, take anything out of it, like remove a rope halter or anything like that, this background's gonna be difficult to deal with uh, in terms of editing. And so uh, it can make our job as a photographer a lot more difficult when we have these complex backgrounds. Now, when I started taking pictures, you know, we didn't take very many pictures uh, uh, for any given sale. So in a sale of 100 head, we might picture 20 animals. And it wasn't all that uncommon for a photographer to go in and completely cut out that background and put a new one in. And if you look back at some older photographs, you can still see that today. But that is not efficient. Um, it creates the opportunity for some unethical behaviors uh, in the editing. And also, um, today we just have too many animals to photograph and too little time to do all the post-production. And also we're videoing most of those animals too in that picture pen. So we need to be very careful about selecting a great background. It's just not practical to try to change a lot of stuff when we could set it up right in the first place. So uh, remember, a good background is simple, it is low contrast, and it's far away from your animals wherever they're standing. So um, guys, if you are watching this in January 2021, all of our entry level courses are half off. You can check that out at learnlivestockphotography.com. And also be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, if you're seeing this video on YouTube or elsewhere, get subscribed there. That's where we're gonna put all of our best free content. All of the videos that we make are gonna live there so you guys can watch them. Hope you have a great week.